What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come check out the website, sign up, the forums rock, all sorts of good stuff going on there, as I say at the beginning of every video. And we are back on Mars, Curiosity Rover. This is from Saw 1112. Um, one thousand so Curiosity Rover has been roaming around Mars for... 1,112 days. Absolutely amazing. Um, the pictures being sent back are uh, starting to need a little bit blurrier as time goes by. But this was an interesting one my boy Shell sent me. Um, as always, he he's always sends over some cool stuff. He marks stuff out, how it comes in. And it's amazing, this new iMac I've got, the, uh, the resolution on it should hopefully make my videos look a little bit better. All sorts of good stuff on here. We're talking about strange, perfect curves, uh, really weird looking uh, outcroppings. What well, looks maybe an ancient wall or something along these lines. With um, all sort of, once again, water seeping down possibly from it. Uh, all sorts of interesting things in here. It won't take too long to go over this image because, there, like I said, there's a couple uh, areas I want to show you. But I do want to show you, as always, and you can always check below to get this link. This came directly from NASA. This is from their uh, browse, the raw images. Uh, I couldn't, it's not in the PDS system yet. You can get a little bit better quality of these images. And I'm going to start doing some tutorials on how to do that here soon, now that I'm getting more time to do videos again. But uh, this was one I wanted. It's in the stack of stuff. I wanted to go ahead and bust it out and get it going and let you guys see what we see here and uh, see what you guys think. Here's how it directly came from NASA. And uh, what's really interesting is we've seen um, flows or water flows that come down here. Uh, on a lot, awful lot of these videos. I mean, we're talking probably, if you type it in, I've got about 20 pictures all together that have actual water. Now, in here, it's hard to tell because look at all the blocks and choppiness. This is directly from NASA. Uh, why this is all blurred out like this, I have no idea. Um, it's got to be either obfuscation, obfuscation, or it's an uh, error with the actual rover itself. But since it's blocky, uh, you know, look at this. This right here, this whole block is in sharp, but then everything else isn't. You know, it looks like there's stuff hidden under the sand here. Possibly this even comes down. It might not be water. It just looks like it might be something coming down. Uh, maybe you can see kind of uh, one. They actually look like there are spears right there that come down. So let's take it. Let's attack it from the right and then go down to the left. Like I said, over here I've got my uh, my buddy, what he pointed out. So um, we'll go from here and take a look at it. All right, so let's check this out. A lot of S-curves. A lot of geometry in this image um, put in with, like I said, and sorry, this is the best resolution we can get out of this one, which is blurry. Like I said, I, I, I can't do anything about that, but definitely interesting stuff going on here. So let me go ahead and take it. Here's the first. I've done a little bit of uh, enhancing to it, auto colored it, kind of blurred it out a little bit, bringing it, tried to bring it back. Here is the second one, which I think worked a little bit better. You don't have that uh, white balance type color where this is what it I, this is what it really looks like if we were standing on Mars. Uh, we see these colors here, not this. Uh, I call it the butterscotch puke butterscotch color we get from it, but pretty interesting nonetheless. So let's use this version. I also have a black and white, so you can see that I haven't done any. You know, I haven't painted anything on here. This isn't some of the other channels that go out there and put fake stuff in or to take this and paint it up to look like a, you know, a huge uh, skeleton or something like that. Now, I do find that this is an interesting piece. Um, doesn't seem to match some of the other pieces laying around. What you look like we see here to me is, is some sort of machinery, you know, or, or some sort of old... Um, destroyed as always Mars when we look at these Mars pics we're looking at, at the civilization that was destroyed a long time ago um, maybe thousands maybe hundreds of thousands maybe tens of thousands who knows maybe even hundreds we really don't know um, 
could be millions if you go with some of the theories out there. But this was really interesting to me. Um, one of the first ones that caught my eye, along with these two pieces here that are just very uh, rounded off. Looks like it's got a rock on top of it there that might give it that illusion of being rounded. So we can't go too much on that, but there's some other good stuff on here. Wait to see. All right, now this piece here, too, was interesting. Kind of had these two little uh, pieces at the top. When you actually pull it out that much, you can see a little bit different. I must have moved it at some point. Let's see. There we go, I did. All right, check that out. You can see this one's got a little rock on top, and that one's got a rock on top. Interesting, especially since it's kind of got a little bit of symmetry there. If you cut that right down the middle, it looks like you can fold it in on each other. Um, as we keep moving along here, let me back up. There was some pretty cool stuff here. Let me check out his, this right here, this piece. Um, hopefully you guys can see it. Let me go ahead and use the black and white version on it. it it's kind of like a, uh, it, it's kind of flanged out. It comes out, it flanges out, it comes together. There's two spears here and then one back behind it. Pretty cool, I thought. Just interesting stuff laying about, strewn on Uncle Jake's junkyard. Every time we get more pictures back, it's like Uncle Jake's junkyard, as my buddy Terry would say from Paris. Look at this piece right here. Comes up, down and over. It's squared off. It looks like it's been just knocked off of something. It looks like it even had a, uh, look, look at that. Let me get that big on the screen for you. I know this is, it's probably going to be getting blurry, but you can see the line here, the V here. Pretty cool stuff. As we roll up towards this hill here, which gets really interesting to me. Once again, you've got this uh, circle, kind of almost like a uh, an et sign or an E, like it, like the Internet Explorer E you'd find on, a, on an Apple computer, or not an Apple, on a Microsoft computer. Very interesting here. Once again, you've got these inlays and these cuts. Up at the top, we're going to have another one. Where are these ones up here at the top that was even cooler? It was inlaid like there it is right here. Check this one out. Now, this one to me looks like one of the most, uh, like it was part of something at some time. It's got a sphere here on top, a sphere here, and it's got a, uh, a line you know, it's, it's up in the air because you can see it's beveled right there. And like I said, we're not going to take too much time on this picture just because it's one that uh, there's a lot more to get to. There's a lot more pictures to put out. But this is one I wanted to add just because it's one of the newer ones from the rover. As everybody's been sending me some pretty amazing stuff. Check these out. Check out the uh, triangles. Uh, once again, that C look to it. This actually looks like it's got like fingers just kind of pulling off. Not that I'm saying fingers, but it looks like they have fingers to that piece of stone or whatever it is. And I think when you take that, you really start to see the, the color. And gosh, look how much blur they use here. Now, either the rover's doing this or it's being done at JPL. My personal opinion is it's something being done on the rover somehow. Somehow making these raw images, this is what happens. It'll be interesting to see what happens when this comes back as a uh, actual .img. But you can see when I take that off here, it's real blurred out. But you can see the bottom part of whatever this is coming down. It's got a circle there. Here, it almost fits together like something you'd see at one of our sites here on Earth. Um, and possibly say, we're talking destruction on Mars. I want you to look at this through the eyes of planetary destruction. That's how I see Mars. Um, a lot of people, I think, agree. Uh, some sort of war happened there, whether it was natural, you know, a natural war from, from space, you know, something smashing it, or a, uh, you know, possibly even a uh, being created war. So going all out there. Get a little speculative tonight, but this was one I just wanted to show you guys real fast. Uh, I haven't had a Mars Anomaly video up in a while. Got a couple really good ones coming up. I got a Pluto one coming up, a Cirrus one coming up. We're going to be checking back. I got a whole bunch more Mars images, but look at, does this seem 
honestly, if you can see this stuff here, you see this stuff here, and then now this is sand. Do you see the sand down here? There's another piece down here that looks like it's sitting up and maybe knocked over as well as right here. But look at the at the JPEGing and, and look what looks like blur. Whether it's been added, there it is directly there, and here it is from NASA. So you know I didn't add that. That was there. So comment below, guys. This is a quick one for you. Hopefully I didn't let this one go too long. I just wanted to make a real quick one. Make sure I got all my buddies. Uh, thinks he was looking at these wall pieces over here. Like I say, it kind of looks like it comes up. And we're looking at what they say. Total devastation. Whatever would have been in these areas that the Curiosity rover's slowly making its way up the mountain as we go, um, we're finding more and more junk. Just like you would find at the bottom of a mountain. Especially if there was a civilization at the top of the mountain. There was a flood. This They've already said that we've seen the water. Uh, I'm still working on that water special because I want to gather up every single one of the drip pictures we have and present it to NASA and uh, really say, look, we know about the water on Mars. There's no need to uh, hide it any longer for us or talk about it only being 2% uh, in the water, which is just totally foolish. The uh, rover took a sample from a very dry area when it first arrived. They say, oh, 2% you know, per cubic foot, or I think that's what it was, and that's just not the case. It uh, has a lot more water, especially where you take these samples from, and when you get to areas like this, it's a much more water. So, all right, guys, comment below. Misty, guys, as always, the videos are going to start coming out much faster now. Much love. What's up in the sky, 37? This is Will Farrar. Oh, here we go. Let me see if I can. This is everything's new here on my new Apple. I got a new version of everything. So, much love, guys.